Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know all the rules on how to solve linear inequalities, let's go ahead and start solving a few. So example number one, 3x is less than 5x plus 10. So the first thing, we want to eliminate fractions, decimals, parentheses, there aren't any, so we can skip that rule. We don't have to multiply anything by negative numbers yet, so we can skip that. And now we want to isolate terms containing the x, which means the 5x needs to go to the other side. And just like with, with uh, equations, when we move the 5x across the inequality sign, we're going to change the sign of that. So this becomes 3x minus 5x is less than what's remaining on the right side, the number 10. Now we combine like terms. 3x minus 5x is minus 2x is less than 10. And now we need to divide both sides of the inequality by the numeric coefficient of x, which is a negative number, which means we're going to have to flip the inequality sign. So we're going to rewrite that as negative 2x and 10. We're going to multiply both sides by, or in this case, divide both sides by a negative 2, divide by a negative 2, so I guess I didn't need the parentheses, but now since I'm dividing by a negative number, I need to flip the inequality symbol from less than to greater than. So on the left side, we end up with a positive x is greater than a negative 5, and so that would then be the solution. We're looking for all values of x that are, so every, any number that is greater than negative 5, not including negative 5, solves that inequality or satisfies that inequality. If we want to draw that on number line, so we have minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, and so forth, we circle the negative 5, we leave it open because it doesn't include the end point, and then all points to the right of that. So this then would be the region or the number points. Like that. All points to the right of negative 5, greater than negative 5, satisfied the equality. You can do a quick check. For example, the point 0 would be there. So let's plug in 0 and see what we get. 0, is that less than 0 plus 10? And the answer is yes. So let's do a quick check here. You can see how that works. You can pick one of the points that falls in the range that we think is part of the solution. So we're going to let x equals, x equals 0 because that's part of that range. Plug it in, 3 times 0, is that, question mark, less than 5 times 0 plus 10? Or is 0 less than 10? Question mark, the answer is yes. And so we pick the point in the range that is part of the solution, and therefore we know that it satisfies the inequality, and that's how it's done.